The Black Star Bay, 1866 Company. This is our bay. These are our stories. These are the Inniski Islands, just to the west of Black Sod Bay. The islands are steeped in history dating from pre-Christian times. But on this day in 1927, a dark chapter would be written into that history. A freak storm would batter the west coast of Ireland that October evening. In total, it would claim some 40 lives. Here, PJ McGinty, whose grandfather was among the dead, recalls the story of the Inneski drownings. Both my families came from the Inneski South. There's nobody living there uh, anymore. Well, there are two islands that are situated after uh, the end of the peninsula here in, in, in Surge View, the Clash. And uh, there's one called North Island and the South Island. The Mainachan family and the, the McGinty family. And uh, my grandfather was lost in the, in the disaster on the Mainachan side. It was the 28th of October 1927. Kind of a dark, cloudy day, but there was a lower depression at the southwest of Ireland here. And the day was raining and calm. And they, they said they'd go fishing. But my, my grandfather had a barometer. Then he told them that the barometer was down at Storm. Storm force, so he said it wouldn't be a night for fishing, and they all ignored it. There was about 24 karaks all together in the dark, two men, two men in, and three men in some of the karaks for mackerel. And some of them loaded, loaded up fairly early with the mackerel and they, were, they came ashore, and some of them went to go out again. But the wind started to blow from the, from the west, and they had to it came so dark they didn't know where they were. Some of them were blown out to the mainland and some were all oh, the line, the tin that was lost and some were, came ashore. And uh, the, men that came, the, the men that came to the mainland at Karakyahan, the, the, the Anthony Mainachan and John Mainachan, they came all the way up to Connolly's pub in Achlim and they, and they told them the story of what had happened. And Mimuyan had the, what they call the Thema with him in his hand, the, the bailer, that they used to have bailed in the Karach. And then he went to, he had it all the way with him to the, he never dropped it, he had the grip on it all the time. And then the, they knew on the mainland what had happened, so the next morning they were all out searching and some of the bodies were found, entangled in nets and all this kind of thing. Well, it was very bad because they were all young lads that were from age, from 17. One lad was only 14 years of age and the rest were 18, 19 and, and 20. As a result of the drownings, the islands would be abandoned in 1931. The bodies of the men drowned that day are buried in one grave on the mainland. The Black Sod Bay, 1866 Company, bringing our maritime history and culture to life.